Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will use the LEM rule for natural deduction to prove that if P implies Q, then we can conclude it is same as not P or Q. So my goal is to use the LEM to take this as the hypothesis or premise and come to the conclusion it's same as not P or Q. Let's take, for example, P to be it rained, Q to be street is wet. If you compare these two statements, if it rained, then the street is wet versus either it didn't rain or the street is wet. Logically speaking, they are the same, but we will have to prove that these two things are equal. Okay, so I'm going to leverage the LEM to prove this. Okay, this tool doesn't allow me to easily add LEM. So what I'm going to do, I'll just add the LEM as a premise, which I'm allowed to do because LEM is just P, for example, P or not P. Okay, this is a LEM, right? P or not P is always true. So I'm at, and, and with a true statement is not a problem. So I'm allowed to do that. Now we can go ahead and uh, see, prove this theorem. Okay, P implies Q is same as not P or Q. I just add an extra LEM statement as part of the assumptions. Okay, what if P is true? If P is true, we can apply implies elimination to come to Q because we are eliminating implies. Yeah, no errors found. So we start with P, we reached Q. Now we can use our OR introduction to introduce anything we wanted. So let's do that. So I'm going to introduce a not P OR Q. All right. So now we start with P as an assumption we end up with not P or Q. We will create another assumption. What are the assumptions we have? We have P as an assumption. We are done with P holds not P or Q. Now we start with not P as an assumption. We can easily go ahead and introduce a Q here because of or introduction to line number six. Yeah, so let's check the proof. No errors. We started with this. This is P or not P, which we know holds true. We started with P, we end up with not P or Q. Similarly, we started with not P and we also end up with not P or Q. So now we can use the or elimination logic. Let me recall the rule that I'm using now. Suppose pi or some chai is always true. From pi, you are able to say arrive at some theta, yeah, uh, for some formula. Similarly, from chai, you are also able to reach the same, some formula theta, same formula on both. This, this, these two things are the same. Okay. In that case, what we can do, we can eliminate the, the R and say this thing is true because we know for sure one of this is true. In either case, if pi is true, we are able to arrive at some uh, theta. Psi is true, we are able to arrive at some theta. Therefore, Theta is the conclusion in both cases. So exactly the same logic we are going to apply here and add a new line to the parent of the proof to claim that it's same as not P or Q based on the or elimination applied using line number two, three through five and six, seven. Okay, let's check whether everything okay. Yeah, everything is okay. So we are done. The proof is done. Congratulations, this proof is correct. So you may wonder, is this the only way to introduce LEM? Now, there is an interesting question. Shall we redo the proof? Okay, instead of P or not P, why not we use Q or not Q? Let's start over. I'll change the premise here to be Q or not Q, right? Which is still true. We'll, we'll try very quickly. We can take Q and we can introduce a not P because we are allowed to as part of the or introduction to line number three, no errors, good. And now we introduce another proof. We have the not Q component. Okay, the not Q component is a tricky one, but we can use modus tonus that we learned earlier, but it's not Q, right? We can say not P because of modus tonus. To, we are applying modus tonus line number one and five. Let us check the proof. Yeah, very good. We are doing okay. Q because of or introduction to line number six. Okay, now we can check the proof. Yeah, no errors. We can go ahead and conclude the, the proof or introduction to line number six. Okay, all right. So now this is add a new line to the parent of the proof. 
we have not P or Q because of the R elimination rather. Line number two, three, four, five, seven. Okay, let's check the proof. Congratulations, the proof is correct. So it's up to you how you wanted to use the lem. The previous case was using P or not P as the lem, which you didn't use any of the derived rules. We were only using the, the foundation rules. In the case of, uh, if you take the path of Q or not Q as the lem, which still works, but I end up using modest ones, okay, which basically also can be expanded using the basic versions. It will be a lengthier version if I use the basic rules with Q or not Q as my lem. Okay, that's where the human creativity aspect comes into play. Which ones should we use? Okay. All right. That's all. Thank you very much for your attention.